The acting Mapondo Queen Nobandla Strau and her daughter Princess Yanda Strau says they will appeal the Supreme Court decision on the Bondo kingship. The court has overturned the decision of the Ntlampo Commission pertaining to the Ubukumkani Bekauga. The Queen, through her lawyers, say relevant stakeholders, including the Office of the Eastern Cape Premier and the Presidency, have been notified of the decision. The court judgment has referred the matter of the Mbondo kingship to the royal family. At the moment, no one has been identified as King of Amabondo, as the matter is still to be discussed. All right, joining us now to talk a little bit more about this matter is Dr. Nsizagalo uh, Ngalo. A very good evening to you. He's a Chief Administration Officer in the Office of the Acting Amapondo Queen, Nobandla Sikau. Uh, so for years, uh, the Princess uh, Wezizo Sikau and her family had been opposing government's decision to strip the Western Amapondo's claim to the throne. So just to share a bit of background of how we are where we are now. Dr. Angalo, I know we are having a bit of a connection problem because of um, the connectivity disruption, but I'm just going to try again. Hello. Oh, Hello, Tavisa. Okay, good. I was just asking if you could just give us a bit of background to why we find ourselves in this uh, particular situation, given the contestation. Princess Wezizwe Skawa, we mentioned, and her family had been opposing government's decision to strip the Western Amabondo's claim to the throne. You know, it was just, uh, hello to your listeners, uh, because it is a listeners now, because they are, they are not watching nothing. <laughs> because of log trading and I really apologize about the connection because there is no way that I can connect because of log trading and also on network. But we appreciate your time. Yes, uh, uh, greetings, uh, greetings and thanks for having me. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, I would like to explain the reason why we are appealing. First of all, as everybody knows that uh, our late king, uh, His Majesty the next Zogostau, uh, uh, never formed uh, uh, or instructed anyone to form any con any any commission. So the commission was a, 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 it, it was a formed by government, and the, the commission that is the commission was paid by government to do investigation in all uh, a, a, a traditional. Uh, whether kingship or whatsoever. Uh, on our side, uh, there was no need for us uh, 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 to be involved because uh, too much at that time, because we didn't form any, comi uh, any committee. But nevertheless, we are affected by the judgment now uh, because of maybe uh, administration errors that, were, that was done according to the judgment. Uh, that was done by Interpol Commission, of which even uh, uh, those administration errors that they are highlighting, you could see even in the judgment there are so many uh, errors in that judgment. One, uh, the judgment is uh, highlighting that there is no lineage of Amambondo, which means that there is no genealogy in, uh, in Amambondo uh, 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 kingship which is not like that, one. Two, and it's talking about public participation. There's no way that you can uh, get a king through public participation. Uh, three, uh, that judgment uh, is having so many errors that some of them I wouldn't like to highlight because the matter is up to the case. And we wouldn't like maybe to, to, to say a, a, a lot about what other errors are there. I'm just highlighting what is there. And uh, also, there's, a, there's other one that I would like to highlight this one. And that says that uh, Zanozuko was identified, King, His Majesty Zanozuko Stau was identified as, a, a, as the king of Amambondo Sekaugen, which is false. 
He was identified as the king of the world Bondo nation, not among Bondo as a Kauge. So you, you could see there are so many, many uh, 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 errors in that judgment. So we are appealing because we are affected by the judgment, but otherwise the case was not uh, directed to us. As you can see that we are a respondent number, uh, number four or five, something like that. And also the constitution that is the, the, act, uh, the constitutional act number seven allows us, it reads like this, if any party dies, if any party dies or become incompetent to continue any proceedings, the proceedings shall thereby be stayed until such, a, such time as, as an authorized representative or other competent person has been appointed in the place of such party, or until such incompetent cases to exist. So it is a, a, a Queen Nobanda's right and our Princess Zianda who appealed because the, uh, 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 we, 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 it, that uh, act allows us, that constitutional act allows us uh, to do that. So okay. we... Yeah. I, I just want to go back on, uh, you know, the presidency made the decision based on a commission's recommendation, which released a report <coughs> on the appointment of Zano Zugo Kelo Vuyo Sikau as the king of Amabonto, as you said, in terms of section 92A and B of the Traditional Leader and Governance Act 41 of 2003. Was there no consultation with the royal family if the decision is now being sent back to the royal family? Hello? Yes, Hello? I'm asked, yes. When the, Come again? when the decision was made initially in terms of who is the king, Zanu Zuko Kelovu Sikao, as the king of Amapondo, was so it was based on sections uh, 9 to a and b of the traditional leadership and governance framework act of uh, 41 2003 i'm asking was there no consultation with the royal family given that the supreme court is now sending the matter back to the royal family yes i like your question i like your question because it, 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 can you see the controversy now of the of the judgment if you say that almost uh, the, the, the royal family uh, must sit and decide who must be the king or which royal family whatsoever. At the same time, uh, there in that judgment, also there is also a, a Khoisan Leadership Act uh, uh, number three uh, of 2019. Uh, it still uh, 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 applies if you are, you are asking me that question. Which is contrary to, 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 to what the judgment is saying that the public participation must be, must be there. This, it, it, that, that shows that they can blame Chapel Commission and whatsoever of administration errors, but still they are contradicting, uh, the, the judgment is, contra is, 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 is contradicting uh, itself by putting some other acts that are contrary to the act that is, is being said. Which means we are not talking on behalf of Chapo. We are talking on behalf of our late king and other kings that are, can, be, can be affected. Because if you say Chapo Commission's uh, funding, uh, funding must be put aside or uh, 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 put aside, which means all the kings in South Africa, I'm talking about all the kings, all, all, when I say all, I'm talking about all, and then during that time, the uh, Double Commission identified seven kings at that time. Uh, 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 seven kings, of which there were three in the Eastern Cape, uh, four about the uh, uh, Zulu king, five about um, uh, uh, Ngebelez, six uh, vendors, and Pedis. Yeah, I think there were eight or nine, something like that. Which means all those kings will be affected by that ruling. But it seems, it seems as if 
still the judgment is contradicting itself. That is why we are saying we've been in constitutional in constitutional court, uh, court so many times, but still I still maintain that the judgment was there because of the information that was in front of the judge. Because we didn't put any papers. There were no papers from our 